It's currently the beta for the 2.0 update to Windcraft and it's going to add a lot of new stuff. New quests, new discoveries, a new raid and most importantly a whole new spell system. But what many players haven't thought about are the new profession grind spot reworks. Many of you probably know of professions, you gather materials and then you use them to craft. Well, the 2.0 update will bring improved gathering spots for materials for the levels 80 and above. Speaking of updated gathering locations, I've found many of them during and after my beta livestreams, and lots of them have gotten improved. However, when I was researching locations for my updated profession guides, I found some spots I wasn't too happy with and felt needed a change as well. So I wrote a thread on the beta section on the forums suggesting several changes to old but also improvements to the new spots as well. And after a while I did get a response and the Windcraft content team listened to my suggestions and have actually confirmed to fix all of them. Now let's discuss some of the spots I mentioned. One spot that did get a massive improvement was the level 80 farms at the Fallen Delivery quest location. It got a much better path and way more nodes to farm. But mobs are still prone to attack you when you're here, so I suggested adding a form of guard to protect proffers from mobs. Next, there's the level 90 farming location I recommend using. I suggested both adding more nodes and a path so you can easily collect materials and yeah, that got fixed too. There's also a new level 100 farming spot added to the Sky Islands. However, there's lots of mobs outside that would follow you inside and some nodes were level 1 wheat and not level 100 hemp. So they added a fence to block mobs and replace the wheat. For the level 80 mining location I always used, there was a slight rebuild, but the molten ores that are level 90 were kept from the old cave, so I suggested replacing them so level 80 miners can get more diamonds in the cave, and they added a lot more. Another spot was the level 90 mining location, which has always been a bit annoying because it's not really loopable. So I suggested adding a few stairs to ease the repetition and that was improved as well. Lastly, I did ask them to improve the level 90 fishing spot in the Molten Heights to help with more nodes and boulders to make it easier to loop and get a ton of fish. And that has been confirmed and also completed. However, it's not on the live beta just yet. Now I'm very grateful these changes were made and I bet a lot of proffers will be as well. However, I think I have some more locations to further improve, so let's go through them. First off, I'd like the level 10 area outside of Deathless to be improved, because it's the only spot where there's birch trees and we need more and also the trees to be closer together. Next, the level 30 location outside of Bremenglar needs more trees as well. I would suggest a grove outside of the lion cave because there's space and no mobs there. Lastly, I want the level 90 spots to improve. Currently people use the Corcus mountain, but there's way too many mobs there. So I suggest adding more trees over at the level 90 farming location because it's way more peaceful and there's lots of place for it. Next we just have a couple more fishing spots. Firstly, the level 10 trout location. I would suggest adding either more nodes and better loopability to the river between Nibla and Deathless, or to add a trout in the ponds outside of Deathless since they're already loopable, you just need more nodes and to remove Gudgeon as well. Then there is the level 20 fishing spot behind Saints Row, which would benefit both from more nodes but also some lily pads so you don't have to swim through the water to fish. After that, the Iboju waterfall location got many nodes removed and I'd love to see them increased and also to add more lily pads so you can jump across the water. And then we need to fix koi fish, because koi can be a huge pain. The main spots are either at the memory paranoia mansion, but the mobs there would need to be removed and the nodes increased, 
or the Dernal Jungle locations. But they have mobs to be uh, to be removed as well, and an increase in nodes. But what I would instead suggest is adding Koi to the Olux River, where there aren't ma too many mobs, and adding some lily pads so you can jump across and loop the spot instead. And that's that. Those are all the locations I feel need a change for the update. For the remaining ones, I've already curated a list of the best locations for profs. But those guides won't be released until the update gets closer and until the CT replies whether or not these changes will also be made. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to say thank you to the content team for listening to these changes and hopefully listening to these extra suggestions as well. I'll see you in the next one. Leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to. But anyways, goodbye.